Hey guys, it's just me and I'm back. Right, you're probably wondering why is her face so fresh faced, not a scrap of makeup, and there is a reason for that, okay? This is the reason of my video today. Now, just excuse the lighting in my video. I know it's not the greatest at the moment, guys. Um, it's literally just because my house doesn't get the sun in my bedroom and it's getting on now anyway, so there isn't going to be any sun. But it was either me do a video with poor lighting or me not do a video at all. So I'm sure you wanted me to do a video, didn't you? You're missing me, innit? You're missing me. Right, okay. Um, so I'm going to do a video today and it's going to be on something I want to do a video on because on the Black Friday sales, I love a little Black Friday deal and if I can get something for a bargain, I'm all for it. I am the bargain queen. And um, I thought, this, fr this Black Friday, I thought to myself, why not treat myself? I deserve it. I work hard, I've got two babies, you know, I'm a mum who still deserves to look and feel good. So I'm going to treat myself to some new makeup. Now, if for any of you are on Instagram and you're big Instagram followers, you might, um, especially people who are watching this channel, you might be um, familiar with Boss Mummy. She is like a high Instagram uh, mummy now who people follow and she actually worked with a company called new cid cosmetics and over the black friday um over the black friday deals she done a four day live feed from her instagram page and she basically promoted these products for them now her makeup always looks lovely and i thought well i was looking for a new makeup to try anyway and this is a new brand that i had never heard of so i thought why not give it a go so but before i did like traditionally most people do who are on YouTube and who are YouTubers. I went quickly went over to YouTube, typed in new CID cosmetics, looked for all reviews. Now guys, there was very limited reviews. There was literally like four reviews and they were basically by the company. Now, yeah, I don't mind if that was all I had to go on was reviews by the company, okay. But I prefer real life people who give you their true experiences of what they feel about the products. So I decided to do this for you today, um, just in case anybody is looking for a new makeup brand um, that they want to try out. And after all, these, these could be fantastic. They could be my new holy grails, guys, okay? So I'm going to give them a go. Now, I did have a super, super deal on these. Now, individually priced, everything is, I would class this as quite a high-end makeup brand. Everything was individually priced from £28 plus. Now, you're talking... £31 for um, a foundation brush, £31.50 for a foundation, £31.50 for a primer, for a makeup primer, um, £31.50 for um, a highlighter, contour kits, they were all starting at like £28. Now, to me, I think that is quite high end, but like I said, if I tried it and it happened to be amazing, then I don't mind at all. So I'm going to give it a go. But what I thought was, I'll do a little un unboxing with you now. And try. I'm going to quickly going to try those products on. I'm going to try and do it, guys, in literally 10 minutes, okay? Because I don't want to waffle on. I don't want you to get bored. I just want to get straight to the point, do the video, and we'll see what, we'll see what the makeup comes up with. Now, I have been really excited because they've been sitting here now for about... Um, week and a half two weeks maybe waiting for me to do this video but i just haven't had time to do it so but today i am gonna do it so let me show you what it came in right the package i received through the door was literally like this so this is what i received it don't don't look like much from here but wait till you see these products girls you wait i think they are beautiful right so let me just get straight into it okay when I took them out of the packaging, I had quite I had three deals, guys. Five piece flawless face kit, which all the products in there would have come to something like a hundred and forty odd pound, and I had them for twenty four pound fifty, girls. Now come on, with postage and packaging, it did come in at like twenty eight pound. But where are you going to try makeup like that, guys, for that that sort of money, you know? So let me show you what came in the five piece kit first. This is what it came like. It's all wrapped really beautifully, really, really lovely guys, okay? It really was. I was really impressed with how with how it came, with how it was wrapped. I had in there the foundation. Can you see that guys? New CID Cosmetic. Now it is as far as I'm concerned, guys, this is really, really slick, okay? 
this is what the foundation looks like now come on girls that is beautiful you cannot say that you do not appreciate that packaging do you appreciate it i appreciate it so this was the foundation now you're all probably wondering how did you manage to pick a color online well it was only two shades of colors that they had girls it was light and medium i decided to go with light because i am the lightest foundation when i pick one from the shops I haven't even swatched it on my hands, girls, or anything, so I don't know what this colour is going to be like. So when you watch me put it on my face now, I could be like Coco the Clown, but we will see. So I'm going to do a first impressions for you in a minute, okay? The foundation brush, which came in a beautiful little packaging. It was a silver little makeup brush like this, all branded with their names on. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, guys, because of the lights. But these are super soft, and they are they just beautiful. I absolutely love them, girls. I love them. So I had the foundation brush then I had a concealer this is the concealer it's like one of these um, twisty top ones girls okay I haven't tried this either but I had that in the extra light as I said because I'm really light I bought a light foundation I like my concealer to be a bit lighter so I bought an extra light one to hopefully lift it up a little bit then I had girls an eye cream it came like this the colour is tourmaline and it's just like a pretty pretty rose gold pinky color now that is that looks absolutely beautiful and then i had finally a what the blusher looks like look at that girls appreciate that it is it looks beautiful like i said i am going to do them all i'm going to put a face on for you now in five minutes hopefully but look how beautiful that looks so that was that moving on then i had a lip kit now the lip kits were um, again amazing deal. In the lip kit you had a lipstick, a lip gloss and a lip brush. Let's first take a look at the brush. Again girls, beautifully packaged. Now look at this brush girls. You literally pop it up. It's so like I said guys, appreciate these so far. They look absolutely beautiful I think. I'm a sucker for packaging. These are actually like items that you could leave out on your dressing table. They wouldn't look a mess, they wouldn't look untidy, and you could go to them every day and just put it on. Then I had the lipstick. Okay, again, beautiful silver packaging. It has a mirror on the back, which I haven't peeled off yet. But girls, that's not it. That's not all. Look at this for a lipstick. How amazing is that, girls? Got a beautiful light. Woo! So this is meant to be like if you're in the club and um, you can't see, just put my light on girls, in the mirror, woohoo! So I was totally suckered in by them. So I had the lipstick and then I had, I had to have it to go with it girls, I have to. I had a lip gloss, again this lights up, I haven't took the packaging off yet but I'm going to right now. It's like a beautiful gold colour, it looks like it's going to have a shimmer in it but apparently it doesn't, but yeah. How lovely is that? Look at that wand again. Again, this one has a mirror too. Fabulous, I think it is. Uh, highlight and contour kit. So what came in the highlight and contour kit was the blusher brush. Beautiful. This is really talked about, okay? This is something I did find a lot of reviews on and everybody says it's absolutely stunning. It's their highlight and it's actually called Sirocco look at that girls how that's going to perform on my face and how i'll be able to sh relay that to you we will see in a moment but it does look beautiful yeah because this is supposed to be like a cream concealer contour so i had the extra light again but i've already got one of them so i'm not going to use this one and then i had an a dark one guys okay so it's exactly the same as the one i just previously showed you it's just a dark one so you can do your dark contour now the only thing that was missing that i wanted which is the most raved thing about on um new cid cosmetics was their eye prime now this is their found this is their makeup primer now this stuff is meant to be amazing because it's one of awards and everything so this is what it looks like it stands at 30 look out look out look how slick that is girls have you ever seen anything as slick as that? Wow. Um, this stands at £33.50, which is a lot for a primer in my opinion. But like I said, if it's amazing and it works, 
well, girls, it could be, like I said, it could be my new favourite makeup. So I'm just going to quickly put it on for you now, because I've been dying to use this stuff, okay? Right, two pumps, they say, is all you need. So I got the two pumps. Right, I'm just, i got a mirror over here, so this is what I'm going to be doing, okay? This is where I'm going to be looking. Right. It does not feel how I thought it would at all. It's not silicone-y at all. Now, that is quite worrying for me because I really, really do love the silicone. Um, silicone type primers. I feel like they go right into my pores. They cover it all up and they make my makeup go on beautiful. But, like I said, it's early days. I can't judge until I put it on and it's been on for a little while. So I'm just putting a little bit more on my forehead because I didn't have enough to cover. A little bit down my nose where all your pores are. A little bit by here, especially in those crevices in your chin. Alright guys, that is the primer in and on. Right. It hasn't done nothing to my face, obviously it's just been massaging my face, which has added a little bit of that redness to my face, okay? So that is that. Now, let's get stuck in, guys, really quickly, okay? Right, let's try this foundation. Like I did say, I just picked a generic colour. There was either light or medium. I went for the light. It might not match me at all, but I thought for the price, I just couldn't, I couldn't risk not trying it. So I'm going to give it a go now, girls, okay? So I'm going to put two pumps on my on my hand this is what the color looks like it is quite light so we will see now um i am going to use my new brush it's a shame to use it you don't want to use them do you when they're new like this but i got i got to use it again isn't it right so let's try right okay goes on girls and blends quite well I'm not sure what I'm thinking about this um, this makeup brush but like I said it's the first time I've used it and I use the real techniques all the real techniques um, makeup brushes um, so that is what I'm used to so it could just be that I'm not used to this it is quite light to medium coverage but like i said if you were somebody who doesn't like heavy makeup this could potentially be great for you if you like to look like you haven't got any on i think guys can you see can you see is that better what do you think Let me see if it's doing any good jobs. Put some on my forehead. I actually think when I do use this next, guys, I'm going to use my own Real Techniques blush brush just because I think that I think it'll be better for me. It's what I'm used to. It's what I like putting my stuff on with. So we will try. But like I said, I could not not try it. And if anything, even if I don't end up using this brush again. It will look pretty on my dressing table. It's a nice, nice light coverage. It doesn't hide any blemishes. So this is definitely not your high duty makeup at all. But be buildable. I don't know. I'm actually gonna go and get my real technique brush, guys. Okay, because I just want to see if I can get a bit more of a coverage. I'm gonna use my blank canvas cosmetics one because I absolutely love this. It's my favorite. It's my absolute favorite. Um, foundation brush so let me try yeah I already much prefer this brush now the color is okay guys it's not a bad color at all but I am in artificial lighting so what it will look like when I'm outside I I don't know but from here it looks like it will match me okay I could get away with it which is obviously a bonus because at least if I don't like it, I can just use it up Right, girls, so let's try this concealer, hey? So let's 
So does anybody else get sucked into buying these uh, these things then? Or is it just me? First of all, I'm just going to pat it in with my finger, guys. Quite thick, if I'm honest with you, girls. Um, it also feels like it could potentially crease quite bad. I didn't know my setting spray and... My beauty blender, it might be all right. On camera, this looks like it's lifted quite well. But in real life, hmm, I don't know. I'm going to see what I can get now with it in a minute, right? Let me try it. Let me wet this down. Try and work it in a bit more. Right, I love a good concealer, okay, girls? I think it's like the secret to, like, sleep will help you with the sleep of nights, etc. Now, look at the difference. It has really, really pulled it up. And it's really brightened that area, which I which I do love. And it is a stage lighter than my foundation. Again, like I said, which I absolutely love. It just does feel quite tacky, quite sticky. But I'm hoping that will settle down once it's been on there for a little bit. But I do like the look of it. Okay, I'm going to do the other eye now. What do you think, girls? I mean, it's looking that little bit brighter. I think it looks quite good, girls. What do you think? I will be truthful. I think it looks a bit better on camera than it does in real life. I don't know whether it makes... I don't know whether I feel a bit cakey. Um, if that makes sense. But I am going to give it five minutes to calm down. Maybe I should have waited a little bit before I put my foundation on once I had my primer on. Right, so now I've done that, let's go in with the contour. Oh, muscles now, girls. Oh, it's coming. Gently, okay? Oh, it is dark. I use the Real Technique stippling brush for all my, all my liquid contour, okay? I can see why she said to go gentle and build it up because I think once it's on with the text with the consistency of these they would be hard to blend out if you'd apply too much I'm just going to try and tone this down a little bit guys mm. this foundation is oxidizing um, I can already see that the longer it's on my skin, while it's oxidising with the air, it is turning, it is going deep, the, the colour is going deeper. Now, whether this is going to end up too dark for me, um, I don't know. But we will see now, okay? Not too bad, guys. Go through, I've blended that line out now. I've still got a bit of contour, so it's added a bit of shape to the face. You could definitely go too much with that. Should we try the lipstick? See what colour it is. Should we use the, should we the extra brush? Use the lip brush. Extra posh and use the lip brush. Um, nudie, slight pink. It's called Eye Pout in Dusk. So we'll have a look now. Considering this is meant to be a quick tutorial I am going to get on with it and just go in go in for Lila right girls I don't know if you're able to see that it is a lovely colour that feels like it's going to have a lot of staying powder power it's quite creamy I do really like the lipstick I really really do like it should try a little bit of gloss my fancy gloss yeah, I'm quite surprised because it looks like it's going to be like a glitter, which mm, we do not want in a gloss. It's not a glitter at all. It just adds a good sheen to, sheen to the lipstick. Let's try the highlighter, girls. It's the Spectrum Fan Brush for my highlighter. Oh, it's very pigmented, right? Can you see that, girls? This is beautiful. Extremely healthy. Extremely beautiful glow. I can honestly see why this is raved about. I really, really can. 
I do really like it. It's really natural, golden looking, golden looking uh, highlight. Right, let's try this, guys. It looks so pretty and beautiful, doesn't it? Don't do it justice on you. It's a really beautiful, subtle pink colour, guys. I really do like it. It's absolutely lovely. Um, the only thing that didn't come in this kit, which I'm really good about, is a mascara. But I am going to put some mascara on for you because I want you to see what it would look like. But I'm going to put a bit of this little, little bit of this eye cream on. I'm just going to pop it on with my fingers. I just want to see what it's like. Oh girl, oh my goodness. This is extremely creamy. Like literally, I almost just shoved my finger in there and made a big massive dent. Can you see that? Yeah, so I'm just gonna put it on. It is something that you could rub off quite easy, I think. You're just gonna sit in those creases. But I think it might be quite nice just in the corners by here. Tried that little bit of sheen. But you could do that with your highlighter anyway, so what do you think so far girls? You like it? Right, let's put some mascara on and we'll have a look, is it? I'm using the NYX. I'm gonna use the NYX double stacked. Um, I'm gonna do a review on these products that I bought recently. So if you're interested in that, go on, go over and have a look because it'll be it will be up at the same time as this video. So first of all you put the nylon fibre nylon lash fibers on oh gosh right okay i thought this was going to be a liquid it is not it is like little hairs girls little hairs can you see that wow if i can put in a little bit of fluff on my eyes let me see let's have a look we're going to stage two. Oh my god girls i absolutely love it love it it has lifted my lashes so much and i've been looking for a new mascara because everyone i'm picking up is just not doing nothing with the lashes so i picked this one up just by chance and i think it's going to be brilliant girls wow girls look at them for lashes I am really impressed. They've like boomed the eyes, haven't they? I'm really, really impressed with this. But this wasn't about the products. So this is the actual finished look. Now, like I said, I do quite like quite natural makeup. This is very natural and but like I said, it was the first time I've used the products as well, okay? So bear that in mind. I am going to keep it on for the day. I will let you know how they wear. Yeah, I do like it. I really do. Now, this is a company, as I said, they've got their own Instagram page. They've got their own website. If there's anything that you did specifically like, check them out, girls. Now, they do do deals every now and again. You can pick things... That you can pick certain things up on che for cheaper on eBay as well. So just bear that in mind, guys, that eBay can be a very good friend of yours, okay? But I just wanted to share this with you because, like I said, when I, when I went to buy them, there was no reviews. I wanted to do a review. So here's the review. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's a wrap for me, guys, and I'll be back very soon. Bye! Hey guys, just a little quick update from me. Um, following on from my new CID Cosmetics um, makeup face put on and unboxing, I've been wearing the makeup all day now, and I just want to say it is it it has actually set very well. Um, as you can see, under my eyes is um, starting to crease a little bit, but I did apply a considerable amount of concealer, guys. I probably applied way too much, more than I needed, so. Um, I just want to say, yeah, I have changed my lipstick colour as well, but I wore the lipstick for a majority of the time and it sat very well, didn't smudge, didn't come off, anything like that. So I just want to say, I am impressed with it, I'm going to continue using it, and yeah, I just wanted to give it a, I just wanted to update you guys, okay, just in case some people are thinking about buying it. If you can get it on offer, like the offer that I did, well worth it guys, just pick it up. Like I said, it is a beautiful package and it looked great 
it'll just look great in your makeup collection if nothing else but it is very wearable very usable and it does look I think it looks really nice on um so yeah so that was just a little bit of it update guys okay take care bye